Hello, good afternoon and welcome to New Forest Moors. I hope everyone's had a wonderful Easter. We're now back in the facility, Jared and I. It's Tuesday, uh, following the Easter weekend. And uh, we've had three ovulations this week as an update and we'll show you what they are. Uh, we've also had a clutch number one that we cut this morning. Unfortunately, it didn't come off as hoped for. It was, um, three of the eggs were kind of boob eggs. We weren't 100% certain whether they were properly fertilized. And when we cut them, we found that they were stillborn. So the Dream School project that we put to the Super Cinnamon Girl never produced any snakes for us. So uh, we didn't want to show you the graphics on that because it was a bit sad. Um, but we wanted to give you an update to say clutch number one didn't go as planned. But hopefully from now on, all the other clutches should be good. So the next clutch after clutch number one is clutch number two. So clutch number two is exciting because this is the multi-combo clown DG project. And it's due in about 12 days, Jared and she's given us seven healthy eggs and they all seem to be doing well. So the next pipping we're expecting in about 12 days. So we could end up with Super Enchi, Super Enchi Pastel Leopard uh, Lesser uh, Double Head DG Clowns. And if she's carrying cryptic, we might actually get some cryptons. So there's a chance of that one. So we'll let you know how that one goes. So let's turn to the ovulations. The first one is Hazel. She is a yellow belly, orange dream, 50% heifer pipe girl. And let's have a little look at her in the rub. So she's just ovulated and we've just given her a little bit more moisture to get her ready. And you've checked her follicles, Jared. They were decent sized follicles. I think they were getting close to 40 mil. Yep. So uh, that's all good. And I've got a picture of the ovulation because the ovulation occurred about a week ago. So let me see if I've got a picture of the ovulation I can show you. This is a very clear ovulation. I don't know if you can see that, Jared. I mean, I could blow it up or you can zoom in on it. But if the Dream School Boy proves her out to be 100% het for pied, we could end up with some orange dream yellow belly hides that are 100% het for lavender albino and I think that would be a great building block for some amazing snakes going forwards. This is another ovulation that we think is La La's ovulation and again she's got massive follicles, big girl. She's a het pied, we put Thor, the exantic pied boy to her. So we're hoping to get some visual pieds that will be 100% het for exantic and pastel. We want pastel in the exantic so it makes it pop. Uh, this girl is NASA. Now NASA is, I thought that was an ovulation, but it's not. It's actually her getting ready to lay. She's already ovulated. But this is our bongo girl. And we can actually show you what she's doing at the moment because when you checked her follicles, Jared, she was about 40, 45 mil, wasn't she? Yeah. So let's get her out and have a look at her. There she is. We've taken her hide off her because when she lays, we wanted to build a tower. But I think from memory, the, the follicles, Jared, were so 40, 45, 45 mil. So she's a big girl. I did try and steal the clutch with Hercules at the end because Ezekiel went to her, which is a clown boy. She's 50%, or oh, she's 66% het for clown. And the whole point of this exercise is to try and prove her out. So if we get some clowns that have got bongo in, that would be wonderful because we want the bongo in the clowns. So that's really good. And then we've got me doing quite a lot of work here. Chad's been away. I've built another incubator because we're ready for another five or six clutches. And uh, my first personal build, you did all the other builds, Chad. Took me forever to um, cut the hole in the back of the cooler to get all the wires in. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of the heat mats come with these plugs that's very difficult to uh, take apart. And instead of taking it apart, I've opened up quite a big gap in the back and I've taped it all in, but it's holding temperature quite well. Come and see what I've been up to. Have a look at the creation. So it's very similar to the other one. And I'll just check my temp, see if they're holding. So we've got four decent sized rubs in there, which will give us another 32 eggs, hopefully. And then at the bottom, we put a small fan and a water bottle. So let's just check to see what temperatures are holding. That's 90, 90, 1989. So 1989. So I think we've got that fine tuned. So that's perfect. Uh, the baby incubator, um, although that's on, we've got some boxes ready to use if we need to in case some of our girls go early. But in here, we're fully booked up with all the other clutches from clutches two to clutches five. 
So they'll be coming in the next few weeks, so that's really exciting. Everything seems to be going well, Jad. Do you want to zoom in and just see what's going on in there? You can see the condensation building. We're not touching them. We're not allowing um, any movement on those eggs. We're just letting them take their course and not to mess with them too much. Some people burp them, Jared, let there be airflow. But I don't know what's your views on burping <laughs> or sneezing. Tell me about sneezing. <laughs> <laughs> um, You've no, got a little pipe. Whenever we've had eggs before, we put air holes in the side, put the humidity right, leave them as they lay, yeah. and they hatch fine. So. Yeah. So I think what we'll do is um, we'll no leave them as they are. Them. We won't mess about. Those little holes that we put in actually help for that. I think the fact that we've got one, two, three, four, five, <coughs> six, seven, eight, nine, there's nine boxes already made up, means that we've got about another nine girls that could go in the next couple of weeks. So we could actually end up with a lot of animals that could be coming our way. So let's actually have a quick look at those and see how they are doing. Uh, by the way, Joe, I want to show you in this incubator, there is one long egg that you haven't seen that's going bad and you might want to pull it out, but this is the other incubator we've got going on here. It's quite a noisy fan. But if you have a look down here, underneath this one, can you see there's one egg there that's going yeah. bad? Should we pull that out? Yeah, smell it. Let's pull it out. So. I think we'll do that on camera. Stick it out because I don't want the, I don't want that to affect the rest of the clutch. So we're trying to do it in there. I knew there was something wrong with it, but it's already going mouldy. Yeah. It came out very unusual colour, Jared. But um, so we'll get rid of that. I'll just get my gloves on. And uh, while I'm doing that, Jared, do you want to just sh show? Some of the bigger girls that could go soon, like start on this end with Colossus. And explain what size follicles you've just done and where they are. And where so, they're gonna go. She's got 40 mil follicles at the moment. 60 mil. 60. Colossus oh. was 60. Well, yeah. Did you put 60 in there, Jack? Yeah. Yeah, 60. Massive girl. This, uh, this is a big bowl. It's definitely going bad, Chad, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. That's it's firming up, so I don't think it's going to do you any good. I'd wrap it in a glove, otherwise it will stink. Yeah. Yeah, Colossus is our biggest girl. She's massive. She's going to drop the clutch for us any moment now. And underneath her is Peaches, dreamsicle girl. Colossus is a hit ultra male, so we can't get used to more Mojave ultra males. Mil, she? Was 41. 41 mil. Uh, so she's going well. Queenie, we've checked as well, Jack. Just have a look at Queenie. She's a that yeah. She's a um, clown girl, pastel clown that's gone to Zeus, who is the lavender blackhead lavender. We'll put those in there. I think I'll put the number on those. Oh, sorry. Do these up. I've moved the eggs slightly, so let's move them back. Sorry, this is not good. <laughs> you can see that the straws are supposed to keep everything in alignment, but I don't think I've got them tight enough, so I'm gonna just adjust them. And uh, yeah, that's why I prefer not to play with them, but sometimes you've got to take out these bad eggs before they smell the whole clutch, so. That's it, they're nice and secure now, Joe. I'll just take that one away from the side. I don't want them touching the sides in case there's condensation running down. So they should be okay now. A bit more stability on them. So we'll put those back under there. And let's go through the other girls. So Queenie, she was, uh, what size were her follicles, Jared? I think they were 30 something, were they? 31? So she's starting to progress. That's Queenie. We're looking for blackhead clowns, is what we'd like. With lavender, hit lavenders. Um, so that's on that side. On this side, we've got a, another Batman project, which is Xena, who's carrying cinnamon, pastel, and spot nose. And mm -hmm. Zeus went to her, and she's got quite big follicles. I think she's 30, 41. So she's got 41 millimeter follicles, Jared. So hopefully we can get cinnamon into our Batman project is what we'd like. And that would be a really good contrast. See where we go. 
And then the other ones we've got left are, we spoke about NASA, the bongo girl, we've done her. Hazel we've covered. Then we've got the, your big project, uh, Calypso, was due yesterday. She hasn't given us eggs yet. But if that's a sign of nesting or what, mm -hmm. she's getting ready to nest. Look at the size of her as well. She's got really big follicles. Tails near the middle. Tails near the middle. So she's preparing herself to lay those eggs. And I reckon by the morning we might have some eggs. So you could get another video out of us shortly. <laughs> if not tomorrow, it'll be in the next few days. Starburst is the same. She's preparing. What we tend to do is with these smaller rubs, we take these rubs out so they can build their towers. Even though I know they're like the protection and security of this. She's another girl that's got, uh, I think it was, was it 40, 40 mil follicles by now. It's 36 last month. She's probably up to about 45. So, so she's the ultra male Mojave girl and she could go soon. Um, who else have we got? Venus, Jared. She is 40 plus, and again, she could go soon. There she is. She's a spot nose pastel cinnamon girl. I went to the banana orange dream pastel boy Apollo. So, hopefully, get some eggs out of her. Can we just move that across, Jan? I can zip that into the side if you can. I like to keep their hides up here when they're nesting. Okay, uh, Atlas came in at 30 millimeters, so she's building. She's our beautiful cinnamon uh, pied girl. And again, our lavender albino boy, pied boy, Bowser went to her and they locked last week. So she's building towards ovulation. So she's 30 at the moment. Phoebe and Pringle could go any moment now. Pringle particularly has shown signs of nesting. You look at her, she looked big, Jan. She's what, 45 millimeter follicles? You think she could go any moment now? Yeah. There she is. So we'll leave her with her hide, but um, she's very protective of herself. And Phoebe, she's got 44 millimeter follicles. She could go. She's still cooling, but we've taken her box out so that she can lay her eggs. She's a big chunky girl. So that's good. And the only other girls we've got are Celeste. Now she could give us a clutch pretty soon. Let's have a look and see how big she is. I think she's got 45 millimeter follicles. And again she's nesting. So all these girls could come through in the next few weeks Jack. That's why we've had to get the extra incubator going and get all those boxes ready because I, I want to be ready for when they come. Toast gave us a massive ovulation. She's carrying 19 eggs. There she is. Big girl, just going into her pre lay shed now. And I've got a picture of ovulation, Jad. I'll show you as well. Let's see if I can find it. There's her ovulation. So we put the banana, past super pastel banana, G-stripe boy to her. So we're going to produce some interesting animals there. And I think that's all the pictures I wanted to show, other than that there is another ovulation, which is La La. Well, actually, no, that is Money Penny's ovulation. She's our double head, hypo pied girl, proven breeder. Let's have a quick look at these two. And I think that's about wraps it up. We did sell three snakes today, and they're on the way over to Kyle. So we wish him well with his ultra male projects. And it's nice that we're making some space now for our new babies. But this is uh, Money Penny. And see, I think she is pretty big, Jared. She looks big, doesn't she? Yeah, she's wide. Yeah, very wide. She's cooling off. So she's ovulated, so she'll be going into pre lay shed soon. And I think La La is the other one, which is a pastel het pied girl. And Thor went to her, which is the exantic pied boy. And she looks big and she's nesting with a nesting period. So I think she could be carrying some eggs as well, Jared. So that's all the girls I think will go for us this year. So if we count up these girls 
Add it to 12 clutches. I think we'll get 20 clutches this year, Jared, is what I'm thinking. Mm. Averaging six a clutch, so it should be about 120 eggs. We're up to 75. So if your toast skill does give us 20, it could end up being 130 eggs. <laughs> we'll have to see. And Colossus might give us 12. So, you know, if we get these big clutches, it might bring our average up. We've had a couple of smaller clutches, threes and fours, that have brought the average down. But normally it's seven, eight egg clutches is what we've got. So I think that's about it for now. Um, the only other issue that we've got to prepare for is housing all the babies. Now we've got 25 slots available from our existing hatchling racks. Uh, we've got another 12 to bring in here that we've already built and another six, another 18. That gives us 43. So we'll probably need to build another 80, two lots of 40 Jad was what we need to build. But what I like is if you look at the US, they've got I mean, our racks are very big. If you look at the size of the baby hatchlings, they go from baby hatchlings through to sub-adults in here. And you can see that they are quite spacious. So what they do in the US is they halve that size and make it smaller. And because a lot of the snakes are being sold quite quickly, they don't plan for them to grow. And I think that's a good strategy. So Majad and I are gonna probably design a racking system, probably make it ourselves to actually house the babies for six to 12 weeks. And then once we've got them all on food and they're all feeding, we'll then be marketing and selling those. And the idea will be just to have the holdbacks going into the larger rack systems, but the babies that are being sold on will do fine in half size tubs to those Jared, which will help us with our space. But as you can see, the whole place is pretty buzzing. It's our fifth year. I think this is the year that we're going to hopefully uh, start to knock the odds out of the park and hopefully do really well but it does take a lot of patience and a lot of hard work to get to this stage we're excited there's lots of beautiful projects coming thank you everyone for your love and support thank you Jared for your support and we shall catch you hopefully next week if not before if we end up with some clutches we'll bring you the latest news thanks for watching and goodbye for now